girls are on. This is the drinking of who's just sleeping. Alright folks, I'm officially on vacation. For the next two weeks, I'll be going to Alaska and I will be filming and blogging throughout that whole entire trip. We already have our day schedule of our events. We're renting three RVs. We're meeting up with one couple that's already on their way today. Tomorrow, my wife and I and her girlfriend and her husband will be flying out at the same time with us. Hopefully, uh, with no hiccups along the way, we will arrive tomorrow late afternoon at Anchorage, Alaska. All right, this is the worst as far as trying to get on a plane and get yourself settled in. A lot of people. Anyway, um, hopefully we'll be able to take off in proper time and arrive in Anchorage around 7:20. Man, this was a, definitely a long flight. So here we go, we get our first official sign. Welcome to Alaska. We're gonna be fishing this. Let's consider the 459 pounds, 31 years ago. What a beast. So our room has a balcony. We finally checked in. We're actually in the downtown area of Anchorage. The weather's pretty comfortable actually. It's super cool, but it's nice. We're gonna go out and have a beer and kind of chill. So we're done here at our hotel. We're gonna go pick up the RVs and uh, hopefully get on the road. We need to do a little bit of uh, food shopping and this and that. Uh, just waiting for the Uber to come by and pick us up. Hey, this is my, my crew. Our first day of, uh, what do you want to say, campsite, Mountain Dew, and what are you having, wine? Yeah, wine. And then the wife is unpacking in there. Where's Mr. Sir Lan Lancelot? He's unpacking. Let me go ahead over there. This is my other buddy who's in this side of the blower. Hi. So I come to visit. Oh, good. Shoot some video. Oh, I am going to shoot some videos. What are you doing? Are you done unpacking? I just finished. Yeah, I'm fishing stuff's up there. Clothes are in there. If you need space to put anything, I no, have we have more. We have space. So the boys are getting ready to make a fire. Or they're already started. And uh, got the speaker going. Some salsa and chips. We are carrying a serious arsenal of alcohol. But we're not going to be driving. This is where we're staying for the night. We got Donna over there. That's the other RV. This is our RV. Our next door neighbors, I haven't talked to them yet, but I will get them to find out who they are. That's a slow starting fire there, buddy. Where's the paper? It's underneath, honey. You gotta do hot rock hopping here. What better way to do this than drinking a Alaskan white, right? Jose, you want me to get your beer or you good? Well, I guess he could, but... so I'm here with the boys and we're just kind of chilling and drinking some beers and looking at potential sites to fish. 
And John here is just telling us how fish beds in these yeah. type of waters. And obviously, uh, Alaska fish is much different from the species down in Florida that we deal with. What normally runs here, John? What kind of fish runs here? Well, probably they probably have kings in June, and then uh, then there. I don't believe Montana does not have a sockeye run. Sockeye run rivers are just the richest. There's just more flesh, more organic material, more grayling. So you, you wouldn't find them in here? No, because sockeye need a, a cl they need clear running water like this. You notice how we've crossed a lot of silty looking rivers? Yeah. Yeah. They will not have sockeye in them. Those are glacial fed streams yeah. that may have a few kings run, a few silvers, but they're not as popular for this, among the salmon as clean running water like this because that silt chokes the eggs off. Yeah. So you're gonna see us some, some point that we're gonna but sit th and fish. This, this river would have a sockeye um, run. If there we do a have a system. fishing trip booked it, it, with Alaska. Right. Uh, one of them so is halibut, and the other one is doing what they call a boat drift from and something year, similar this to this, maybe a different body of water. What are called pinks. And uh, hopefully while we're here, we're able to catch some fish. And the whole catch to this whole Alaska trip is just to experience the whole outdoor scene. John's been up here a lot of times to fish and he knows it all really well. Um, he's gonna be the person to go to as far as him guiding us. Five o'clock in the morning and we're off to doing a fishing trip. And uh, I had to go back and get my license. But anyway, we won't be fishing today. So this is where we're gonna be floating down the river. I just got we'll, three. we'll get off of it, fish, get back Hello. on it. All these people are fishing for salmon. So we're gonna be a uh, Dirt, dude. Not it's, as slick as it was yesterday, but this is good. It's got it. There you go. All right, Hank, stand up straight. Stand up straight. Good. Make sure you keep that rod down. Keep that rod down. We got off. We got off. Okay. So you don't need to be bent over like that. You just need to keep that rod down like this. That's right. it. At the very least, keep it level with the water. Okay. I think he might have been snagged the way he took off. I just lost one there. There we go, he's on. Fish on. All right, hold on to him, we'll be right there. Just right there, just like that. He's here. Yeah, there he is. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, he's a good one. Yeah. Right on. All right, hold on to that. There you go. That's nice looking fish there. Done. Hold on to that. That's a nice fish right there. Yep. So these guys are still fishing. I'm actually having lunch. And we have caught all these. Nice fish, that's a big one. All right, it's picture times. Let's see how we do that. Oh no. Easy. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Got a little bit of gumpy legs. All right, the end of the trip. I know I'm looking pretty bad here. End of the trip. Call how many total? I just got three, but I think they're usually no, like 13. Yeah, 13. So 
that was a pretty good day fishing. Uh, we didn't keep it. Starting off with breakfast, <clears throat> making eggs. The guys are out there. Got <laughs> chorizos on the on the grill. What a way to start the morning. Deer sausage. We were going white water rafting today. That should be an interesting uh, event. Stay tuned. So we're now at the Denali Rainbow RV Park and we're about to go hit the whitewater rafting. We're pressed for time here. We got here a little late. All right. so these are my shoes. <laughs> I'm going out in style. Yeah, you are. These old people are gonna be rafting in, in the river. Alright, so we should have fun. With your feet inside these socks. Unlike how you dress yourself at home, you're going to then put the shoes on that you guys picked out. Do not. So we are going down the river. Side of the raft. So, so I'm going to be on the right side. Oh yeah, coming through by the way. And yeah. forward guys, forward paddle. Go, 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 go. Look alive. And stop and crack this to Holy moly, man. <laughs> Alright, so let me show you what I'm seeing from the paddle strokes, okay? You see a lot of a little bit of leaning forward and just it's like hundred percent arms. That's not gonna do anything for us. It's just really not gonna get us anywhere at all. You're just gonna wear yourself out. Make you look silly, okay? So, with that, everyone turn around, look at me. Here's what I want from you. Lean forward, dig in, bringing those hips on through, paddle stroke. This is a core workout here. This ain't canoeing, this is whitewater rafting. Let's show this the respect it deserves, okay? <laughs> so, let's try that again. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> You're not seeing what's coming on back in the back. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> We have made the final destination of this trip. No, oh, the scenic route. Okay, it's not the shirt. It's the scenic route. But the scenic route, the road is not paved. So there's a lot of uh, potholes in this here. But the ride's been nice. It's getting better, the weather at least. So this is the rewards of being on the back road of this place. Look how pretty that looks. All right, so now I got my selfie stick up so you guys can see the vastness of this place. See the clouds rolling in from the distance. It's pretty cool because you can see it creeping along on the pine trees. Um, I've not ever seen anything like that. It's neat. So the way we've been communicating between the RVs is we've been using these rocky talkies. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it up closer. Um, and for the most part, they work well. The only thing is that um, being that you're transmitting out of the RV, it limits the amount of frequency that comes out of the small antenna. We uh, figured out probably roughly a mile in between 
to RVs, and we can still hear a mile, mile and a half or so. But then anything beyond that, two miles or so, we, we don't get any uh, communication. Our view is spectacular. I mean, literally. Uh, this is probably the most scenic route so far that we have taken here in Alaska. It is so amazing. We're currently having lunch. We're just about finishing up here, actually. Uh, call it a wrap. Uh, we still got about three hours of a ride. It's all bushwhacking it on this dirt road. Our RVs are not clean anymore. They show all the grime of the dirt, you know, off the ground. Uh, I can tell you these things really take a beating. So we stop right now to take a look at these. Look at that view. It's just amazing. Nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Just do your laundry whenever we're done with the first load. Yeah, because it's all part of the whole. No, it's not. But don't worry about it. It's good. Oh, okay. Everything's taken care of. Those are shower. Are you? Are you? Wait. This? So it's like an actual shower in a full size. So, so this is like the elephant in the room, right? No. The pink elephant. <laughs> it's literally. Okay, Laurie All right, Laurie. Tell me. Are you recording this? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> this side includes a shower. So this, this is what Laurie said. I'm under the assumption because, lit like, we had to pay for the laundry. Okay. We paid for one load of laundry. Okay. In a shower. And she handed them the tokens and says, here's your shower tokens. And then she looked at me and she's like, did I forget, did I give you your shower tokens? And I said, no. And she's like, here you go, shower tokens. So I'm going to go with the showers must be included in this site because she gave us the shower tokens. So, and we didn't pay. so what's that? One token for like the no, no, whatever no. minutes? Go back to return this. And then why, did, why two tokens? <laughs> why yeah. did you ask what her? is this for? Why would you ask? Because what at all? They're shower tokens. I know, but we well, didn't you know what they're for. Oh they're my god. Sharp. Try it out. Okay, what you they do before? know <laughs> what they're talking about. I'm clueless right now at this moment. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> god damn. We arrived here. We did a 10 hour drive. Oh my god. It was long. There's John washing his, his RV. Don't make no sense. I mean, the roads here is nothing but this. Look at that, pure dirt. We did a back road and uh, it'll be on videos, uh, my videos that I've put together. Anyway, that's our truck. We're hooked up with water and uh, we're getting ready to make dinner. Grilling some shish kebab. <laughs> 